Hey there. Oh, that's awfully dim. A little bit better. How are folks doing today? Pretty nice day for myself. Getting ready to celebrate, quote unquote, Thanksgiving here in the United States. So I've got the next couple of days off from work, but of course, covered everywhere, so can't responsibly, you know, go anywhere forward or have those sorts of large family gatherings that is typical for the holiday. But at least I got the time off. But yeah, really aching to get a little bit more Subnautica uh, today. I do have a thing later on tonight at about 8 uh, Central Time. So we'll have to wrap up the stream then, even if I do want to keep playing. Because I've got a prior engagement. But yeah, I figure we get in, get in a few hours here. Hey, old cheese! How is it going? Nice to have you here. How has your week been? Are you also looking at uh, the start of maybe some holiday time here? I finally restocked that fridge back behind with a few more options. Last couple of days, I was just down. I had Mountain Dew in there and I had beer. So I was like, all right, do I want to be amped or drunk? <laughs> it's the only beverage up and down there. A few few more options now, but down the middle now. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see where we left off. And hooray, happily, my uh, computer doesn't appear to be blowing up. Yeah, turkey day prep. I hear you. Hey, I'm getting together with my significant other on uh, on Friday, but it's just going to be the two of us. I'm not doing any large actual stuff for Turkey Day itself, just doing it, you know, doing it on Friday instead. Do you have many people uh, over for you're at? Because I know some folks live in places where they're COVID's under control well enough that you can have a, <laughs> a small gathering and then it's fine. Where I'm at, it's just so bad that... It's, te technically, in my county, they just made it illegal. <laughs> if you're not in the same household to, to have a gathering. Although, I don't know if they're actually going to successfully enforce that. Alright, so last time we left off... We've made lots of progress... on our supply situation got a bunch of copper now a bunch of lead gold silver and was this quartz yeah it's quartz and let's see sonar torpedo system depth module storage module oh did we uh I know we found some of those gas pods. Did we actually stick Welcome aboard, Captain. a, uh, those better torpedoes in here? Ah, oh, God, it's so hard. No. All right, fine. We'll just check it in the water. Welcome we'll just check it in the water. I just want to see what's on the torpedo bay. All right, no. Still vortex torpedoes. Do we make torpedoes here? We do. What do we need for the gas torpedoes? Just titanium and gas pods. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of both of those. Leave the scanning for a thing? I didn't. Down. Let's see. We could hold six in there. Where do we put the gas pods here? I know we scooped up a whole bunch. Oh, here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, and some titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. Usual size for the fam and the kitties. Oh wait, I'm gonna this. This is twice as many as I need. Put 
put the other stuff back because we can only hold this many in there. And I successfully get the torpedo bay from out here. Come on, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Oh. Goodness. It's so hard to get to the torpedo bay on here. And down here it just wants to enter the Seamoth. I wonder if there's an easier way to get to it that I'm missing. <laughs> to load those torpedoes in here. This side. Enter Seamoth. Do we see it from the storage panel? No. Nope. Oh, but we do have course in there to unload. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to drop it in. All systems online. Unless... Can you get a upgrade? Nope! Nope, nope, nope. Careful where we click! Careful where we click. Get it to it from here. Okay, so I just... <laughs> just have to put it in the water is the only easy way to get in here and... Go. And we'll this way. Quartz. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe we'll make uh, some of this down into uh, glass. Just to conserve on our storage space. We'll have some quartz in here and some glass in there. Gator, resources, basic, glass. Wait, why do I have titanium in the list? Oh, because that metal salvage I picked up the last time too. Oh, that's right, yeah, because it was getting real late last time I was playing and just finally hit like, all right, I better just lie down. <laughs> Didn't really get to, like, clean up my inventory the way that I normally would at the end of a session. Leave a treat for... I mean, I did, I did leave a treat. Past Delvin did leave a treat for future Delvin by collecting all those resources. So there's all kinds of stuff we can craft now without having to really go hunting for it. Jeez, so much glass. Okay, there's glass. Locker. Glass away. And the stalkers too, I guess we really only have those for making the, enam the enameled glass. Okay, so if I take those out and turn that into glass, I'll have room everything, so we'll make one more glass and tuck that away. Glass. And the spare titanium we can put away. There's room for it. Oh, why have we got spare titanium? Okay. Gas pots you can put away. I don't have a good place for torpedoes, so I guess we'll put them there. Glass. So let's see. Now that we have a huge stockpile of stuff. Oh, we were going to make... Did we finish making that reinforced dive suit? We didn't make it yet. But I think we know how to now, don't we? Reinforced dive suit. Two diamonds, two titanium, and synthetic fibers. I think we have what we need for that. We already... We didn't make any synthetic fibers yet. 
but we know how to because we just need fiber mesh and benzene. Do we have enough diamonds? Exactly enough. Two diamonds. Didn't we? I felt like we already made that. I guess we didn't already make that. Benzene. Where we put the fiber mesh at? Fiber mesh. Make the synthetic fibers. And then we needed, what, two titanium to go with that? Resources, advanced, synthetic fibers. And then personal uh, equipment, reinforced dive suit. Did you auto-equip it? Hey, you did! Alright. Zoo protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. Oh. This upgrade, we wanted to make that upgrade to the propulsion cannon. Computer chip and magnetite. Now we should be able to do that. Do I have it in me? I don't. Here? Nope! Back inside. Propulsion cannon. Two magnetite. And the computer chip is going to be... Gold. And copper wire. And table coral, I believe. Table coral. Versus electronics. Cut the wire. Hello, Odin. this side. Get on that side? That's a little bit better. There you go. Yeah. He's a good kitty. Okay. Making a computer chip. That means we should be able to now make a repulsion cannon. make those yet because they don't have kyanite or nickel ore yet. Ooh, but that one I should be able to make now. And I already put the Mark 1 depth module on there, didn't I? Glass steel, magnetite, and enamel glass. Oh yeah, that's what uh, that's what made us originally go, hey, we gotta go do uh, a quartz run too. This will switch off the cat cam. Um, did I put the Mark 1 depth in here? I did. Give me that. Then we needed... Crap. Already forgotten. Uh, enamel glass was one of it, I know that. Just that. Two. And... Glass steel and magnetite. And while I'm up here, let's... Okay, so we're actually gonna make... Grab some rubies and make two plasteel. And the plasteel is going to be titanium ingots and lithium. We need four lithium, ten titanium. Take all the lithium, lithium and titanium is all down here, as are the rubies. Titanium. Five, six, ten. Turn those into ingots. Mm -hmm. 
and we'll make that enameled glass. Grab some lithium. Make our plasteel. And another plasteel. Any rubies? Three rubies. Okay, do we have enough to uh, do both of these? Oh, no, forgot to grab magnetite. That's all we're missing. We don't have a lot of that, but we still have some. Alright. Make a mark two. Make a mark three. Awesome. And then we don't have what we need to make an upgrade to that depth module. We might be able to make the first one. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, let's go on here. Put in you. We got that. Storage, sonar, torpedo system. We know if I want the storage module on there. Like, it's nice to have some extra storage. Oh yeah, because we did, uh, we wanted that, but we don't know how to make that. Solar charge, don't care about that. And I don't have the diamonds to make that, but maybe... Maybe this would be, uh, an important... Important bit to go with. But yeah, so the storage module we'll take out to put in the, the perimeter defense system once we're able to make it. I don't know if I'm going to hang out of the sonar on the sea moth, because I'm not often going to be swimming in around in places where I need to see that. Most of the time I would be taking the cyclops and using its sonar. Right, uh, and then... Welcome aboard, just... Captain. <laughs> Welcome aboard. I'm just swimming in the water. Okay, uh, and then for the prawn suit, okay, well, yeah, right, we couldn't make that because we don't have nickel yet. Couldn't make that and couldn't make that. We got a bunch of stuff on here that we need. So nickel, kyanite, crystal, and sulfur. Let's, uh, let's double check and see that maybe there's one on here. Wreck. Oh wait, wow, this is a... Uh, this is a remarkably small list this time. Why is this so small? I don't have anything else on here? Maybe if I do a scan for something basic it'll update this. Because there should be more than this in the area. We'll let this, uh, let this scan go. We'll check out these wrecks with our, uh, sea moth ones from the area and just make sure they're all ones that we have fully cleared out. Finn! Hey, how's it going? Nice to have you here. Oh, this is all banged up, too. Wow, 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 wow. We'll put our habitat tool away. I guess, geez, if it, we're gonna keep taking vehicles in and out of here. We might want to start storing our tools up in here. Put that away. You've got enough power. You have enough power. You're good. Laser cutter can use a refresh. Laser cutter? <laughs> yeah, totally understandable, Finn. No pressure to, to do any of that, uh, do any of that here. Relatively small number of folks. Should be easy enough to handle it. But it's nice to have you here, just to have you here. There's that. Reload. Two. Good battery. 
Bad one goes away. Bad one goes away. We have a spare to take with us. Go back on here. Get some food. Yeah, that and, and that as well. Yeah, the. Uh, <laughs> I've definitely done the uh, trying to mod a multiple streams at the same time, but I don't know if I've tried to mod four streams at the same time. Lantern fruit. Not an efficient way to fill up, but let's do it. Are you doing good back here? No. You need more things. Two. Four. Three, four. And we'll do a quick save. All right, let's take uh, take this extra one out. A BB, hello. Oh, and Linda as well. Hello. Nice to have you both here. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay, so a maximum level sea moth, maximum dive depth sea moth, only goes to 900, which is odd because like my Cyclops goes to 900 and it only has a single upgrade to it. it doesn't even have any further bumps to it. And the Prawn only has one upgrade and it goes to 900, so I guess we can't take the Seamoth to the deepest, deepest depths, but still 900 is a huge improvement, because before we were only at 300. Yeah, this is not, this is not much of a wreck, scanners. Like, thank you for identifying it, I guess. And are you spotting wrecks down in those caves below? Is that what those wrecks are? It is nice that I can actually take this thing down here now, though. Because before, it would get crushed. <laughs> I could bring it, like, down to, like, right here. And the only way I was able to, like, get this anywhere in this cave was by, like, finding nooks and crannies where I could skim underneath the, uh, ceiling there. Okay, so I guess the, uh, Degasi, uh, habitats are also considered wrecks. We've been to this one. And how about these? Ah, very cool, eh, baby. Nothing there to scan. Okay, and those are the only wrecks. Oh no, there's there's some more up on the surface. Okay. And it'll probably pick up more as we're going. Because it takes time for it to scan out to its max range. This is the one that, I mean, yeah, it's a wreck, but like I've definitely cleared it out because it's right by my base. This one I've been to a bunch already. This one keeps being on the way to stuff. I'm pretty sure I've finished this as well. Although the marker for it's really low down there. Ow. Ow. We've done this one. Done this one. Okay. And this is the other one on the scanner. Oh. Oh, only 24 damage. That's not that bad. I'm pretty sure when my uh, my Seamoth got bit by a Leviathan, I took like <laughs> took like 80 80 damage. Okay, and this one. I'd be really surprised if we haven't cleaned this one out. But I haven't been back over here in a while, so let's just double check. Damage 
finished wiring. That's odd, because the door's already open. Maybe this unrepairs itself when you leave the game? And I've previously repaired it to get through here? Yeah, so I'm thinking I probably have been in here. There's one of these vent gates. I was curious if I can do anything with these. Can you do anything about this? Nope. Okay, you can, you can juggle some boxes around. Oh, okay. You can actually move them around quite a bit, you just gotta get real close. Oh, and some of them you can't. Alright. Oh yeah, I figured I probably have already been to this one. But we we're gonna have to do something to get that scanner room to update because it wasn't uh, it wasn't populating with all the stuff that's supposed to be here. Uh, yeah, I, you're right. So I'm not like a man. I should probably specifically call that out separately. It probably has its own tag, don't it? <laughs> there you go. I mean, it seems odd in a survival crafting game that you have to distinguish that there's a difference between them. <laughs> telling somebody what to do and telling something what's going to happen when they do the thing you're telling them, but yeah, please. Like, if it's... If it's something as simple as, like, I'm looking for diamonds or something, and it, I literally passed one on screen and I just didn't notice it, it's fine to point like, hey, you just you just missed one, you were looking right at it. But don't, don't tell me, like, what to build and what order or any of that kind of stuff, or... There's a reason why I'm not looking at the wikis or... You know, the maps or any of that. Yeah, isn't it? Okay. Alright, well, we got, uh... We are populating with... New rec locations, aren't we? No, we've been to those. Alright. Let's, uh... We'll head back in there and check the scanner room and see if now it's fixed itself. It's before I had a much... Did a lot more stuff on the list that I could detect. And we did clear out a lot of deposits, but we didn't clear out all the deposits, so it should have been able to list other things. Top scan. There we go, now we got multiple pages of stuff. So. Um. So we have cave sulfur, we don't have crystalline sulfur. We do have more magnetite. Although it might be just that one weird one that was like inside a pillar that we couldn't get to. And shale was what came, what provided diamonds, wasn't it? Geological shale outcrops. Oh, gold, gold, lithium, and diamond. We have crap loads of lithium. And a decent amount of gold. Not a lot of diamonds. We have no just diamonds on here. Hmm. Well, maybe... Especially now that we got that Seamoth upgraded so we can use it to be a bit more speedy. Let's see, let's, uh... Well, no, let's... First, let's clear out these, uh... These unfinished wrecks. That we got like part way through and weren't able to get done with. That way we can recover those beacons as well from them. All systems online. Loading up. Captain. All systems online. Seed, 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 seed. Eat, eat, eat. I still don't like it, but what I don't like about it is the orientation of the panels itself. Not necessarily exactly where it is on the room.
I want both the fabricator and the other energy backup panel to both be, if you're looking at the wall, you see both of them. I don't like how they're like back to back and you're, you're not facing both at the same time, which is a minor thing. <laughs> and I'm sure, I'm sure there's not many people who are with me on that even mattering, but that's, that's the part that I would change if I could change. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> yep, uninstall. Zero out of ten. It is quite dark. Alright, yeah, we needed to build a small bed on this thing. Probably just quartz, right? It's just quartz, I bet. Oh, yay. And I already see that one of those warpers going off, which is, I think, part of what forced us to have to retreat here. Be a little bit close. Back it up a bit so those floodlights actually help. That's probably good. Engine's off. Down. And we'll take the Seamoth out there too for a little bit. A bit of extra light. All systems online. Slightly closer air source when we're in here exploring. Because I remember how we were getting in and out of here. Oh, this this might have been how we we're getting in and out. Or at least this is a way to get in and out. Yeah, it does. It does get spooky. It's nice. This? Are you a movable thing? No. You're a moving me thing. Okay, which way? This is where we came in. Here. Okay, so this is just a straight line right through the whole structure and out. Is there something we can move out of the way? Guess not. Okay, so we just have this thing to laser cut then? Habibi! You gotta stop doing that! <laughs> it's already been named by chat! It's not rename generator! <laughs> I will, I'll refund you your points. Yeah, Chet, uh, and they, that was actually somebody else's point redeemed to, to name the, uh, the prawn suit. Last stream, so. Because we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna delete, somebody else already redeemed their points to name that. It's already been named by somebody else on the previous stream. As soon as there's a new thing to get named, a new vehicle or outpost or something like that, you're welcome to, to do that. But yeah, the, the Seamoth, the Cyclops, the Prawn Suit, and our main base all have already been named by, by chat. 
And when there, when there is an opportunity to name something, like, it'll be very clear on stream, like, hey, here's a new thing with a new name. Hey, chat. I, um, I think I, what I, I mean, maybe what I need to do is, like, s disable that on the point rewards, except when there's something to be renamed. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to add a, a rename the X thing on there, because I don't want to be... I don't want to erase what somebody else has done. Uh, crap. Thank you. I don't want to erase somebody else's name that they've already added in here. By somebody else doing a, a point redeem one in chat. I'd much rather it just be... When you redeem it, it yeah. You've got a thing that's a name, a game that you've now redeemed that now it's named. And then that's... That's just that. But yeah, maybe I should maybe I should uh, update that that award or that reward so that it's clear that it's name something that doesn't have a name yet, <laughs> or that is a default name. Like, all right, so maybe we were close to being done with this because after we cut through that door, the other area we got to looks like an area that we've already been to before because there's already doors on this side that were cut stuff that's been opened so maybe we have already finished this we just uh, just didn't find the the easier way to get to the other side of that door Suit, drill arm. Nothing new. Somebody was asking in chat yesterday about one of the arms that we found, but it wasn't for the drill arm. They were asking about, uh, like the grappling hook arm. Okay, yeah, so we just got lots of ways in and out of this wreck. Alright, so I guess maybe we are done with this place. Thing. I guess we can check around the ground outside. Make sure there's nothing we missed out here. Head. Okay. Take it. I like that those uh, those warpers are just kind of minding their own business this time. Don't seem to mind what we're up to. Anything good in these caves? Fish, some quartz. Just... Just hair or something. Alright, we will get back in here. Ah. Yeah, probably. So this we can pick up now. Okay. I thought it was me running into something. That was just the uh, the doors opening. And there's nothing there. And there might be interesting stuff down here. Can you open now, please? No? Can you open, please? Let me in! There we go. Thank you. Go down to storage. Jacob Massad, nice to see you. How are you doing today? 
And that would go here. Got a nice stash of beacons there. Let us go clear out that other wreck we marked as being incomplete. Powering up. Wonk. Oh, we're gonna need to get that uh, those power cell chargers up and going back at base pretty soon. We're already, we're already down to half energy on our cyclops. And we don't have that upgrade to get them there. Um, story-wise, Jacob, I don't think I'm any further in the story than the last time you saw me stream. Um, I mean, like, I've, I've picked up some more, a handful more of the, uh, like, audio logs from the Degasi stuff, things like that. Uh, but, like, I'm still infected with a disease. I found those notes about there being, like, a thermal facility and some disease research facility that I've not been able to get to. Uh, I did find a way down into, like, a crazy set of caves way deep down. Which might be where I'll find that uh, disease place, because the notes in the dad log says that it's located like really, really deep down. But uh, when I was there before, I did not have... My stream is buffering. Uh-oh. It doesn't look like it's buffering for me. Well, it might just be a Twitch network connection thing. Oh, hey, here's a wreck. Wrecking a few pieces. Check this out. Not buffering for you, Finn? Okay. I know that it's, it's kind of silly that I keep <laughs> pulling this thing out when I'm not really going anywhere th with it. But I kind of want to uh, have it handy as a much easier way to get into air and back out rather than having to climb in through that hatch. Uh, if, by, if by big gun you mean the big gun that destroyed my rescue ship? Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment? We don't have that yet, do we? Oh ho ho! It's not just the Seamoth that gets torpedoes. Yeah, so if that's if that's what you're talking about, Jacob, yes, I have seen it because it blew up my rescue ship. Um, I was not able to do anything about that cannon uh, because I'm infected. Yes, I played a lot of Elite Dangerous back back before it had any expansions, and then I played a little bit of the the first expansion when they first started adding the engineer stuff like that. I got way too grindy with the engineer stuff, so I didn't continue playing beyond that. But yeah, I played a ton of the. Uh, of the game back in the day. I actually have a bumper sticker on my car <laughs> from Elite Dangerous. Let's see. Oh, we already had that. From doing the uh, Buckyball Run A-Star. I did not get a... Oh, we didn't have that kind yet. Like, I didn't get anything noteworthy-wise as far as my completion time on the run, but I finished it. It's also one of the earliest things that I actually did for a, a stream on Twitch before I was even really trying to do it as a regular thing. I just did it on there so that I'd have a... Okay, this doesn't seem to ever work. Okay, so I've used it on like tiny, tiny little cargo crates. And every other thing that I've used that repulsion cannon on, it doesn't do a thing. Get our air refreshed. Yeah, I saw that on, uh, on Lee's, Lee's Discord if people wanted to play it. Yeah, I, especially for me, the exploration side of it, I loved it. I I would spend so much time going through actual star catalogs with the game open another window and cross-checking to see, like, which of these interesting real-life stars um, were also in game in Elite Dangerous. And then planning out trips based on, you know, which types of stars I wanted to try to visit on that trip. Yep, still can't do anything there either. Uh, I think somebody was saying in chat that that's a feature that they they took out. That that used to be something you could do. So, I shouldn't keep trying, but I will keep trying to use that. <laughs> yes, yeah, for sure. The, uh, the Thrustmaster is a very beefy Otas. I 
But yeah, Elite Dangerous. Quite a lot of fun if you do enjoy really semi space stuff. I mean, there's there's arcadey aspects of it too, like the fact that you've got a your thrusters get you up to like a few hundred meters per second. They're like, sorry, can't go any faster, stuff like that. But uh... oh hey, Some lithium. Well, actually, we have tons of lithium. I don't even know if I need to bring that back because we have an entire locker full of just lithium right now. I think. Uh, yeah, Jacob. Quite a few people on here play uh, play Subnautica. And I think most of the people on your place of Nika are also further along in the game than I, <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, there's a thing. Oh, just move pull fragment. Okay, gotcha. Ooh. This is a really deep crevice here. We're going to check that out after we finish this wreck. Okay. Uh, this is... I already have plans for you. What do you do to finish actually building them in the base? That's not a thing. How about here? Yeah, I don't know if the area that I got to is considered the, the dark zone or not, but I did find a way down into a super, super deep area that would not normally be accessible by just going somewhere and just going straight down. And yeah, the, uh, the critters there, combined with the fact that all I had that could handle the depth at the time was just the Cyclops, which meant I was not very maneuverable and I was super <laughs> obvious, <laughs> meant that I just had to mark it and come back for it later. And now I have a death module for my uh, sea moth. It can go as deep as my Cyclops can. I already have this one. Which means now I've got something that's a little bit more nimble I could take down there. And I have torpedo launchers on it too, so I have a, a little bit of some source of self-defense on it. Um, I believe I was going, like, northwest from my base, which is pretty close to the starting life pod. Oxygen getting low. But I think that finishes this room, because we can't open those doors. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Yeah, I got out to... I went that way, I came into like a mushroom forest area. And then right by that mushroom forest area were, were a bunch of blood vines. And a really deep area, like a deep trench leading down there. And as I went down the trench, I found like another cave thing that went super deep down. And went to a whole other area where it was even popping up about how there was some like crazy... Crazy fauna down there or something like that in that area. Have I scanned either of you? I don't know if I've scanned these. You're not scannable. You're just old table coral. Really? Not even you. Not even you. You're just old, old dead coral. Boring. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Oh, crap. It's just, it rides with you into the vehicle if you get in it with it still on you. Well, that's rough. Where was that crevice? Here's a crevice. How far down do you go? Excuse me. Oh. Here's some blood vines as well. Oh, and rubies. We're actually starting to run kind of low on rubies. Although, I wish it was not super dark down here. Rubies, rubies, rubies. 
Producer beans. What? I'm full. Oh, I'm full of so much titanium. Uh, Jacob, I think it was like northwest from the like life pod five area that I went. Yeah, it is kind of crazy how, uh, how some of these little fish are able to cause some damage to your vehicle. Gel pods, we don't need those. Just want... Just want some rubies since I'm down here. Should probably just grab rubies and go offload this stuff on the uh, Cyclops before I go any deeper down here. Since I'm nearly full. Yeah, that would make sense. Wouldn't imagine the area that I found was the only way to get to it, because it seemed pretty sprawling. It's just the only way to get in that I know about. Although this, I don't know, this might be a, another area that leads into it. We'll see. Alright, we're gonna dock you. We will, we will dock you. Systems online. All right, Habibi, thank you so much for coming by. Nice having you here. And Vex, hello, how are you doing? He tells two friends. What? Tell two friends. Tell oh my God. Amy so so and, so and the Okudis. Hello and welcome. Oh, damn girl. That's Amy Okuda in case there's somebody in chat or someone who doesn't know. <laughs> Oh man, it's great to all have you here. Yeah, I caught most of your uh, most of your WoW stream, but I had already announced I was going to do this one at five, so I had to leave uh, leave there for the last about hour or so of your stream. How did it uh, how did it finish up for you, Amy? These don't need those. Um. Okay. As far as the power plants go. I have not been able to find a way to add any of those. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I did catch all but the last hour of it, so, so there definitely was a lot of follow to about to the next thing. <laughs> but I mean, wow, is there's a lot of there's a lot going on there, so it takes some time to sort of pick it all up. Um, can I not access? Yeah, I can. Here we go. Empty out that storage, put those away. But yeah, like, I mean, I enjoyed the stream and I really don't enjoy it WoW anymore. You've got a good job of making sure that's, uh, entertaining. All right, have a good walk. Thank you for coming by, thank you for the raid. Appreciate having all the Okudis around here. Thankfully, I know the Okudis are into Subnautica because <laughs> Amy's been streaming quite a bit of it too. All right, um, 61%. I'm banging that thing up quite badly. Air? Oh, can I not do it from here? Seek fluid intake. Okay. Oh no, fluid intake. Crap. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Charge this up. Yeah, I used to play, I played, I had a period where I did play WoW, but it's just not, just not for me. Munch, munch. Vital signs stabilizing. More munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. There we go, now we're all full. We're all full, but we're not awful. You know what I mean? Now then, let's check out this weird deep hole that we got here. Let's see where this goes. Oh, uh, Subnautica? I was not aware it was on, uh, on consoles. Okay, 
Can we do a ping? Okay. That's quite a ways. That's quite a ways down, too. Ooh, what kind are you? Is this gold? It's probably gold. Yep, it's gold. I'd have to take the prawn down here to get those. Which I did not bring with me. But I could certainly beacon this place, because this is another entrance to some... Because actually, I should check. Is this... Is this actually the entrance to some, like, underground cave? Or is that just, like, a tiny nook that leads to an area that's just open ocean... <laughs> ...accessible? Okay. <laughs> so that was just a little cave. Yeah, there's the surface. Well, that's just a little cave that leads to this whole biome area that we've been to before. Alien base underwater there. Real deep cave entrance there. Well, we'll check out deep down here and see if we find anything else super interesting. Yes, Omega! Oh yes, on the previous stream, uh, via a point redemption, our prawn was named the Dr. Zoidberg. And has even been colored to match it appropriately. We got some uraninite, looks like. Um, we could certainly use some more of it. Um, hey, do you mind, dude? Am I gonna have to smash into you to get you to stop trying to eat me, or what? There. Now are you gonna stop trying to eat me? I just want to pick up some of this uraninite down here. At some point, I'm going to have a base deep enough where I'm going to want access to nuclear power, I assume. Don't mind me. You don't need to eat me. I'm just, uh, just grabbing some racks. Delish, delicious, delicious uranium. Okay. These guys seem a lot more chill. Oh, look at them, they're dancing. Or fighting. Or mating. What is the deal there? Huh, that's interesting. Learning all kinds of new things about the behaviors of these, uh... I think these were called blood crawlers, the deep ones. I don't feel like I need to grab any more of this blood oil, because now I have a renewable source of it back in my base. If I need more benzene, I can always just grab it. Don't need to stockpile it, unless I'm going to be mass-producing stuff where I'd actually burn through those. But uraninite. Don't have an easy way to produce that. Gold. Yeah, dancing or fighting or mating. You know, it's hard to tell with these weird crabs. Could be any one of them. <laughs> or all of the above. I guess I don't, yeah, exactly. I'll keep it there. It could be just be all three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna eat me. If you're not gonna eat me, put them in the sea moth. Oh, it's so much nicer now that I can take the Seamoth down here. Now that I got the depth accessibility. We got some deep shrooms. Okay, now what is this? It doesn't look like gold. That's copper. Alex! Hello! How's it going? Uh, and yes, uh, view count spiked up a bit. Uh, because uh, Amy raided me after the end of her uh, WoW stream. So, we got a pretty decent bump, and it looks like uh, several dozen folks have continued to stick around, so it's great having you all here. Amy's community is awesome. And I'm not just saying that because I'm part of it. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the Nautilus.
gonna be... Wait, is this... Is this magnetite? It's lead. Okay. Yeah, we'll get back to the Nautilus. And we'll continue on to that unexplored wreck location we were trying to get to. It looks like there's just multiple ways to get down into that kind of biome besides the other area we were at. Excuse me! Coming through! Oh wait, there's the data pad. Did I get this one already? I don't know if I got this one. Because it was dark. Oh, well. I didn't get this one, but I kind of already did get this one, then. And what, a moon pool fragment? A peanut worm fragment? Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, torpedo arms with a prawn suit now. Acquired. If only you could put on like a dozen arms on those things. Here we've already got. Okay. Into the strontium two. Doing our rushing nesting dolls situation here with our various. Uh, Waste a wrapper body up against the pressure. Well, thank you. It's great to be here, system. Three. Cut. Consume, consume, consume. Plant, 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 plant. Another locker full of gear to offload. What is ahead of the game on the uh, your internet? So again, whenever we get to the point where we start needing <laughs> needing it for a reactor, hopefully we'll have. Oh crap! I left the engine running. Oops. Right, yeah. So over here we've got another wreck that we have not finished exploring. Supposedly, although the last one that I went to that I had marked with that beacon, it turned out that I had gone through the whole thing basically. I just hadn't cut through a door that was separating both the two sides that I had surveyed, but. See what we got here. Oh yeah, that's right. This one was one of those real big wrecks. doing? Engines. Engine powering down. There we go. Power them down. That's better. Oh good, a warper. All systems online. Where are you, warper? Alright. Let's, uh, let's test this out in a not highly critical situation. Oh, wait. No, oh, are you gonna be... Are you gonna be cool? Nope, that's not the right button. This one? There we go. Oh, great. Now there's two of them. Oh, there's three of them. Well, it leaves poison around for a long time, and it didn't do jack squat to the warpers. What if we make it a larger area? Wait, what? Torpedo? Oh, jeez. Okay, so to torpedo's not so great to deal with warpers, and now there's warpers everywhere down here. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Not good. All it did was just make it warp right over there, and that's it? Well... 
I sure hope those gas torpedoes are better against the, like, the larger leviathons or whatever. <laughs> they don't seem to be all that great uh, in dealing with the smaller dangers. Ooh, hello. Oh, are you just, just a dead coral? Just a dead coral. Nothing to get excited about. Okay, let's move that Seamoth near this entrance. Welcome aboard, Captain. So that when we get distracted and run out of air, <laughs> we'll uh we'll find our, our air easily. Anything on the radio? No. Oh, there was a Oh, Cyclops hole fragment. We got those already. Laser door? Not a laser door. Ulsion arm fragment, we've got those. Data pad. <gasps> Docking bay repair module repairs vehicles docked with the Cyclops. Ha ha ha. Cyclops Bay. <gasps> and all it takes is a repair tool and a copper wire. We might... We might even have enough in our random loot with us to just make one right now. But if not, we're making one of those right away. That is wonderful. Do I have you? I have you. Well, and yeah, like, like right now I can use my repair tool to fix my craft, but I can't even use it on the craft while it's docked. I have to undock it and then repair it in the water. Or take it to the moon pool. Yeah, I'm quite happy about that. But now when I dock a vehicle on there, it gets repaired and it gets recharged. If I could just get that upgrade to the Cyclops where I could let it recharge itself using hot water, I would have a very self-sufficient thing going on. Okay, is that... I guess that's gonna be the end of this... for us. And there were no... other ways out of here. Oh, more arms to scan. They really wanted you to get that propulsion arm here, I guess. Nothing to do here, and this one's definitely not cuttable. But I'm willing to bet that there's more than one entrance in this one besides that entrance. Because I feel like that didn't even... That only got like part way up. And then we were out. Didn't it come down the other branch? Well, let's see here. This event. Are you going to be a laser cuttable door? What? Well, Jacob, that's... I'd be happy for you for the weight loss, but six pounds on a day is a lot of weight. I hope that was... On purpose. I don't know whether I should be happy for you or not, because that's that's a lot of a lot of weight to pop off on a single day. Alright, since I did beacon this one, it's possible that I've explored some of this already. Down here. That's going to be real easy to find my way out of here. <laughs> I got to remember there's a ladder to make it climb up. Oh. Now we're just underneath. Okay. So maybe this section I already cleared out previously? Because it didn't seem like there was a whole lot in here to be scanning. Unless there's something up this way. Stuff hidden in here, and I'm just not seeing. Okay, how about up here? Oh, yeah, definitely, I've been in here before. Because here's a door that I cut open. That thing that I raided. And here, door we can't operate. 
Event gets closed. Okay. Yeah, so this must be the half of it that I explored before. And then I had to leave. Probably I was out of inventory space to keep uh, going through it before. Alright. Uh, yes, Jacob. The regular flashlight, if I had it in my inventory, would be better for just letting up spaces. I just don't like carrying around yet another tool and having to constantly swap it on and off of my toolbar. So I just use the Sea Glide for it. Less finicky and one less inventory space to worry about. I do have a flashlight somewhere. I have used it, it's just... It's like if you're in your living room and you're cold, so you grab the throw blanket to wrap up. It's not really a great blanket, but you'd have to like make your way all the way across the cold house to the linen closet to get a better blanket. And so you just stay there underneath the mediocre blanket. It's just not worth the hassle to, the, uh, the reward is just not enough. Okay. Um, where is the beacon that I left here? Right here. Warpers! You mind? You mind? Okay. Hopefully I can grab this. Get back without getting warper warped. Oh! Just like that. Hey! Let me in! Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, not Torpedo Bay. Not storage. Enter Seamoth. And please not get warped out. I'm just trying to get out of here. Oh, goodness. These warpers are... Real pain. Okay, so can we? Do we have any? Here's a copper. There's none. None. Might not have enough on us to make it right now. Okay. Yep. We won't be making that. Uh, upgrade out here but uh, but we're definitely gonna make that as soon as we're back at base uh, maybe another beacon to put away Got lots of beacons available now Uranium. okay but now where where do we want to go Let's see, we could go to those quote unquote real deep caves. See if we can explore it better with the sea moth. Although I'd like to have this thing able to <laughs> repair the sea moth <laughs> easily if we're new to that. So maybe we'll. Engines on. Engine powering up. Out here. Let's do a do a sonar scan out there. See if there's anything out this way that we want to be checking out before we turn around. Real deep here. I don't know if this is Crater's Edge deep, though.
This looks like a different kind of biome than we were in before. Deploying deploy. No! Shit. Well, there goes one of our decoys. Um. <laughs> Engine powering down. Let me see. Let me see if it's if that's retrievable, or if that's just burned now. <laughs> Ooh, those are some interesting things. All right, I... Warper. I don't see that decoy thing, but I do see these crazy things. They're pretty friendly. D-treader. Oh, I don't like that going right for my Cyclops, though. There's the scan and then move it. We're, we're moving out of the way. We're moving out of the way. Just relax. Yes, relax, little just little sea treaders. Engine powering up. Read that dialogue and see what these things are. Engine powering oh. down. Sea treaders. Oh no. Sea treader Leviathan. Rooms the reef in herds, grazing the sea floor. Text sense. This thick armor. That is a plant material. They may unearth mineral deposits as they turn out the sand. Okay. Well. Let's see. Four. Oh, that was more. More seeds than we needed to pull. See if we can follow them around then. Sounds like they're actually pretty docile, other than me like, parking in their way. All systems online. Alien feces. I can't scan it, but I can take it. Oh, could you not go right past a warper? It's not very thoughtful. Yep. Ugh. Warpers. Wow, very smooth, Finley. You got that before I even saw it. Very nice. Yay, Alien Feet. Sounds like a good band name. I agree. Okay, we're not near the Warpers now. Maybe we can safely get out here and check around. Like this whole fragment. We already know about you. Yeah, no worries, Vex. Honestly, I'm, I'm used to usually <laughs> all tab and ode to, uh, to Grethers myself, so it was a real treat to see him disappear. No, no expectation that anybody... Just because you have a mod sword doesn't mean that you work for me. You just you happen to be around and you happen to see it. It's it's handy if you can catch it. Neat. Man, 
we are getting... You guys are dropping a lot of diamonds. Oh, <laughs> I wonder. I wonder, old Cubinator. Maybe, I, maybe that was my fault when I uh, launched that thing. Inventory full. That's no good. Well, we need diamonds more than we do titanium. Alright, let's get back in here. Storage? Push Yeah, this is great little find these guys. They just walk around here pooping delicious... delicious rocks and occasionally feces. There, head on back. <laughs> I hear you, Finn. It's still just it's still hard to imagine being in a being in a Twitch channel and you're not a mod there. <laughs> Look at this! Look at all these diamonds we're racking up here! You know what? Let's let's throw a beacon here. Just a note that this is like a treader path or something. Because it definitely looks like this channel is like designed specifically for them to be doing. Oh crap! I'm gonna have to do it from the Cyclops because I didn't bring any with me. We have an entire locker full of lithium. We don't have an entire locker full of diamonds. We have a locker dedicated to diamonds. More feces! Why do we want it? I don't know. But we can have it. So we want it. Okay, Vex. Have a good time. Inventory full. Nutrient rich manure suitable for bioenergy production. Alright, well, let's take the stash back and then let's leave a beacon here noting that. There's like a treader path that goes through here. <laughs> God, I keep banging my ship on stuff when I dock it. Pieces and diamonds. Pieces are a farm's best friend. Storage. Oh my gosh, we have so many diamonds now. Oh. Oh yeah, and before I forget, grab a beacon. Let's see, we'll put it, put it a bit by the wall, just so it doesn't get like smashed into by something. Be 
again. Is that? Look at that, and they must make a pretty tight loop because here's another one coming around. Are you something new? Spiked horn grass. Plant you. Cave bush. Pretty sure I've planted membrane trees already. That's not a thing. Bunch of stuff down there, too. Let's see what else we can find if we go deeper. Uh oh. We are starting to run out of room for loot. Engine powering up. This is only at 300 meters, this place, too. Okay. Launch her. Tail end. Okay. Is this... This is a suddenly real steep drop. Oh, crap! Yep, this is... That's where we are, yep. Deploying, deploying. Okay, yep, so this is the Crater's Edge. <laughs> I'm glad we had a decoy still in the uh, case we hadn't used up yet. Oh, come on! I don't even know what I ran into. I don't think it was the Ghost Reaper because it wasn't on the the radar there, or sonar, or whatever that is. Okay, we did not lose our Cyclops, although we are low on battery. So let's take it on back to base. Uh, put away all this loot, because we're nearly full of loot anyways. See if we can get those uh, power cell charging stations up and running so we can get this thing recharged. We don't have any other means of recharging our Cyclops right now. That's true. Yeah, you're right, Alcumina. It was probably a tiny fish that I ran into. That always happens. Oh, hey. Is this, uh... Is this the same floating island, or is this a different floating island? I just happened to go by floating island? Oh, yeah, this is probably the same floating island because we're at the right angle. Ooh, what's that? Get some smoke over here or something. We had smoke from something over here. There it is. There it was. Oh, I, bet it, I think it was just rocks falling off the bottom of the floating island. I think that's all that was. Uh, yeah, Jacob, and actually, I do... Batteries. I do always carry extra batteries. Uh, but this sub is powered, I believe, off of power cells. And I've not yet built recharging stations for power cells yet, or spare power cells. I could, like, I guess there's, I have one in the, uh, in the Seamoth. Like, I could pull that one out to stick in the Cyclops if we were really in danger. But yeah, that's just part of the power cell infrastructure or something that I'd like. I even went to the point of, like, marking out on the wall, like, putting up unfinished power cell chargers where I want them to be. Just hadn't yet gotten around to uh, building up that infrastructure yet. 
So we'll head back and get that all taken care of. We don't have time. Oh, sweet. We got, we got plenty of time. Got another solid hour and a half we can stream. Treaders, that was a real good find. Not to mention getting a scan of another Leviathan. <gasps> Mythic Bubbles! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Particle Pals. It's great to have you here. Hope you're having a fine day. Alright, thread the needle. That's not threading. I guess normally when you thread the needle, it's okay to touch the sides, just don't damage the sides. <laughs> okay. Engine's down. Oh, crap! Oh, crap. We, we whacked the sides a lot harder than I thought there. We got water coming in. Where's the hole leak? There it is. Oh, here. Oh, I guess we we actually we might have just taken some damage from that. Uh, that might not have been just now. That might have been from that ghost reaper that attacked us. As I was going down the uh, that steep drop, going like. I wonder if this is the crater's edge. This is pretty steep. Yep, sure enough. That's what it is. I wonder if that's the path that the uh, that those traders take, though. I wonder if they just circle around the outside there. Or if that was just coincidence that I happened to find them there. Gotcha, Jacob. Yeah, this seems like a reasonable choice. Plus, you know, who doesn't want to live on a yellow submarine, you know? Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, we've got a copper. We have a lead. Nope, lead is here. Bunch of titanium and a salt. We might want another... Let's grab a quartz. And did I put that tool in here? I thought I decided to put it up here, but maybe I did still put it down there. Did I? Oh, no. What did I do with my habitat tool? Uh, did I put it in one of these, just not that one? I remember commenting on like, you know, I wonder if I should just start stashing them here. But this is where I'm going to come in and out. There it is. <laughs> I thought I did something like that to myself. Okay. Habitat builder. Locker. Get another one over here. Wow. Guess we're gonna need another place for titanium. We want to have enough on hand for once we start uh, building our next base. And you know, maybe I'll want to build it like at the entrance of that really crazy, uh, crazy biome down there that I found that was <laughs> super spooky. 
just have a base of operations down there. It's pretty far out. It'd be a nice place to have a scanning room to easily find whatever mysterious stuff is down there. But we need to finish with our... We need to get this base fully, fully operational first. Okay. Continuing the offload. All of our treasures. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Uh, nutrient block, you can stay right on here. See if I can get enough speed on that uh, on that sea glide to make it out of the water, but nope, not in the moon pool. Nope, rubies don't go here. Rubies go in here. It's a really poorly poorly laid out <laughs> base design too, because it's all like hodgepodge as I've been going. The fact that I have to run so far to get the rest of my storage versus there, I should just all centralize it. Alright, we have another microscope. Just the... Maybe that'll be our spare microscope down here. Like our old one with the, uh, the one bad lens on it or something that <laughs> never stays in focus. But a small sample flask. Currently use one of these. Right next to one of those. We might need multiple more counter space for our science stuff. So so much to do. <laughs> I did remember to shut off these engines too, didn't I? That's good. Empty. Oh, are we going to need another titanium locker? I think we will. Well, hooray. We... Add enough on there to, uh, to make one, though. Now, could I, if I wanted to arrange this, I could make this like a double-sided aisle that I walk down. Put the other titanium one across here. Nope. There. Titanium. Okay, you are... Nope. That's gold. Gold, Jerry. Gold. And we need one for Uranonite now at this point too, don't we? Quartz. Titanium. Put it down here. Here. Granonite. Medium here. Um, I have heard of it. And I've seen various like clips from memes and stuff from it, but I haven't actually watched the series myself. Yeah, exactly. Here. 
plenty of references to it. I haven't watched it. Okay. Gold locker. Wow, we're rich. Okay, I guess we'll put spare gold in the, uh, here. Mechanics to put away. Diamonds. Oh, are you? <laughs> Biological. Not enough room for all of our alien feces. I'd rather all of our feces be in the same place. Can we store it in eggs? Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of egg-like, right? Kind of. <laughs> A little bit. Yes, Saturn Saturn, I have found poop. I have found much poop. I was quite excited. I don't even know what I need it for. If I even need it for anything. Maybe it's just for the bioreactor and that's it? But I hadn't seen it before, so. Happy times. Hey. Like corn grass. Stuff growing in here. Oh, while we're here, we also have a bite to eat before we get the next offload done. Plant, 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 plant. So much loot. Oh yeah, as I commented earlier, there's the uh, those I didn't catch from the last stream. This is the Dr. Zoidberg. It was named as a points redemption, which is an excellent name for that suit. I'm quite happy with it. Indeed. That's for upstairs. And this is all just preparedness stuff. Oh, and, and speaking of for who was commenting earlier, like I do have a flashlight out here. I just don't take it out with me because it's one more inventory slot. If I had a if I had a hot bar where they could all be assigned at once, I didn't have to open my inventory to get to it, or choose to not have one of these other tools on my belt, then I probably would carry it around. But because I have to I always have to swap something out. Not been bringing it with me. Okay, we have diamonds and a seed. That's all we have to put back. Diamonds? Oh, 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 oh. oh, we've got so many diamonds now. So many of them. And a cave bush. I don't know if we have a cave bush planted or not. Well, let's have one. You look like a cave bush. Okay. Well, the other thing that we are going to do is get this charging area set up properly. Rubies, titanium, and advanced wiring kits. So, the advanced wiring kits... Electronics, advanced wiring. We need a computer chip, a wiring kit, and gold. Computer chip. So let's see. Two, one, two, one, two. That'll get enough wiring kits. And we're gonna need gold for the computer chips. We're gonna need copper for the wire. Is that gonna be enough? Gold. Let's see. <laughs> and we're 
need these for the computer chips. Resources! Copper wire. Computer chip. Wiring kit. Dance yeah, chip. No, I did not bring enough gold. Computer chip. Computer chip. There we go. Wiring kit. Advanced kit. Do it once more. Copper wire. Yep. Oh, table coral. Let me go pick up some table coral. Go install what we've got. We don't know one for you yet. You're gonna need just a regular. Oh, we got a titanium. We can just finish that one off. Okay. Don't even need that much charging power right now as far as batteries goes. I just wanted to have it there available so that when I do have a large load of batteries to charge, I can just plug them all in and not have to, like, keep checking on them. Okay, uh, I need to go get some table coral. Which I think there was some sticking out this way. Yeah. Be enough for that and a little bit to stash for next time. Yeah, for those that didn't catch it, the reason that I'm doing this is that my power cells in my Cyclops are starting to get low enough that I'm a little bit worried about doing a large expedition with them. <laughs> and whether or not I'll be able to make it back from one more longer expedition. Um Oh right, because I I made the Ah, oh, I used up that copper to uh, build the other one. Copper ore. Gold. Oh, and we were gonna need uh, titanium to and rubies, which I think we're still storing. Rubies we're still storing in the wall locker in here. Two. He's kind of running low on rubies. Electronics. Copper wire. Computer chip. Oh no! We need a wiring kit. Silver. That's what I get for trying to build another random thing with what I had. <laughs> Silver ore. Resources, electronics, wiring kit. Advanced wiring kit. All right. Now we should be able to finish these off. here. I guess we'll take the, the Seamoth out first, because I don't know if... Oh, will you not let me get in that this way? Fine. I'm going this way. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Huh? Huh? Oh, can I not... Can't get to it from here? Uh, take that out first and put that in the moon pool. Because I don't know what happens to this bay. Once the uh, power is disabled on the Cyclops.
Although, I mean, I guess technically, because of the moon pool, I do have a way to charge power cells. It's just not a very good way to charge power cells. Because <laughs> it's by having one in a vehicle when I plug it in here and letting it charge that way. Not a good way to get this whole thing running. We're up. Hello. Okay, interesting. So you're at 68%. 74. That's odd. They don't even charge. They don't even discharge evenly. I guess that's handy for when you want to... Nope. This way. <gasps> what was that? Lego God 193 Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Particle Pals. Great to have you here. It's getting real dark in here. Oh, because these are all completely discharged. A little odd that it does that. It doesn't just run them equally, but that's fine. Whatever. Right. We'll plug these in. We'll have to make sure that bio reactor's powered too, because I'm sure these are going to go through a lot of juice. Yeah, somebody else was commenting earlier that they had played at some of their Xbox. I didn't even realize uh, until tonight that it was on consoles. Uh, what? What's? How about how about you don't stand like that? How about you just there, just stand like a normal person? Ah! Well, I guess I'm not thirsty. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I meant to store those. Bio reactor. Okay, you are active, but you don't have as much fuel as I'd like. Let's, uh, we've got three of these. And it says that it's suitable for bioenergy production, so let's stick one of those in there. So why not? Which container? And then we'll put in a lantern fruit in the other slot. Uh, all right. Thirty-five percent. Guess I can't easily check the status on the rest of them stacking them up that way. Uh, while that's going, let's reload some of these batteries too. You. You. You have some that are 100% we can take out. This needs to be powered while I'm here. I'm gonna build some stuff. Okay. Um, I guess I need the Cyclops to have its power restored before I, uh, go install that repair module I wanted to add. Like, I won't be able to manufacture it without the fabricator on it. Uh, the Stasis Rifle. I do know how to make them. Uh, I have not made one to carry around with me yet. The only rifle-like thing I've, I've been carrying around has been that, uh, repulsion, um, cannon. And it's not been... And I haven't been so happy with having it so far. But I also keep forgetting that I have it when I run into a dangerous animal <laughs> to remember to use it. So I'm mostly just using it like push boxes around and stuff. <laughs> it's the only time I remember I have it. Probably have the same sort of problem uh, with the stasis rifle. Uh, yeah, I've, I believe I saw that in the, uh, the data log entry for it, that even on really large creatures that it'll stun them. Okay. 
Okay, what are these notifications? Oh, torpedo arm for the prawn suit. And... Oh, light stick! We can finally make light sticks now! Battery, titanium, glass. Let's make some of those. Ooh, yeah. Batteries... Oh, and actually we probably should make a spare set of power cells, so we've got like... The six we've got on the charger for this that are being charged for the Cyclops, and then the other six that are actually installed in the Cyclops. So when they get low, we can do it like we do with the batteries, where we pull out the fresh ones and put the old ones in. But I don't know if I'll have enough copper to make that many of them, because I'm going to need six power cells, which means I'll need 12 batteries. Oh, which means I would need 12 copper ore to do that? Actually, I bet I, I, bet I can make that. Let's make those power cells... No, no, no. Don't, don't sidetrack, Delvin. Don't sidetrack. One at a time. We're making some light sticks. Copper ore, acid mushroom. Copper ore we've got up here. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I love that you're building a backstory for why there's certain tools that I just, I just keep not carrying with me. Also, I only have so much inventory space. I need that for loot. I can't just fill that with every tool imaginable. I gotta be mindful. Okay, so we need some copper ore. Yeah, we can make about three of them. And we need some acid mushrooms. Welcome of which there are, they are plentiful out here. Oh. I guess it would be good to have a bed of them, though. So I don't have to go hunting for them. Ow. Ow. I guess maybe I should plant them and then cut them in the planter. Assume they work like the other, uh... Like those other things. <laughs> Do you, Jacob? We just swim around with like six spare inventory spaces. Let's see. Uh, we don't use them often enough. Need multiples of these. That one of these would be enough. Oh, one more worth of seeds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was running into that earlier. I kept trying to, like, get into my Seamoth, and they kept warping me out the moment that I climbed back in over and over. Okay, those are planted. We were gonna need a bunch more of these for those uh, power cells. Let's make those batteries first. We're gonna make three of them. Electronic battery, battery, battery. Okay, and then personal. Tools, light stick. Okay, we need three batteries, three titanium, and three glass. Have enough titanium? Now yeah, we do. Glass. One, two, three glass. Do 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 do. Tools. Light stick. Light stick. Light stick. Alright. Let's, uh.
Also functions as a really crappy flashlight. Let's see, so can I put these anywhere inside here? Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. I know. No, nothing to worry about. Okay, you can't. That's not what I want to do. I was hoping I could just like throw one like on the ground in here somewhere. <laughs> As just like some emergency lighting. I guess that's not the case. Still though, we can... We have room in our equipment chest for that. I guess we'll put it in with the beacons. Light stick, light stick, light stick. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I just just need to build a fire in here. We'll all be fine. Nothing to worry about there. Okay. Now I'd like to build another. Oh wait. Do you recharge that fast? Percent. Power cell charger. Percent. Percent. Oh well. Those actually recharge really fast. I was look. I mean, I can go back on there and see if I could place them. I know that they're a placeable item, but it seemed like I couldn't place them on the Cyclops itself. That was where I was curious about being able to place them. But I'll, I'll next time I'm back on there, I'll I'll try. Looking straight down and seeing if it'll let me plant them. Oh, and I'm going back on there right now anyways, because I just got those uh, power cells. Alright, light stick. Look straight down. Nope, nothing. Do not appear to be placeable on the Cyclops. Unless there's a crouch button I don't know about. Here, here. All right. Power. 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 And over here we've got more power. Power. And power. And maybe I should see if I can build a locker back here to just keep a spare set of those right on here that are charged. Yeah, I'll keep it in there. I'm sure, I'm sure in other places it will allow me to place them, because I know that's the whole point, is that they're placeable. I was just hoping I could place them specifically in the Cyclops, so that when I lose power, for instance, uh, I don't have to use a flashlight to find my way around inside. And that's me just more thinking of, like, layout of, like, an actual sub for a loss of power emergency. Having those backup, backer battery lights around to help make sure that the ship's going to be navigatable in that sort of situation. But I guess we can't do that. With this boat, we'll just have to make sure that it's hard for us to run out of that power at all. So, can we do lockers in here? We can, but maybe... We'll do them, like, right here. And put some spirit power cells right in that. Oh. <laughs> Interesting, Jacob. Yeah, the game does that sometimes. Hits you with the wild music. Okay, I need some titanium to make that wall locker. And 
Then I need to run around and see if I've got enough to make a spare set of power cells to go on here. We can hang on to that. Be ready. The next time we hit that moment, we can just go, Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just swap them out. Recharge them the next time we're back at base. Instead of having them just being stuck with that. Walk. Okay. And this will hold way more than we need. I know we were going to need more acid mushrooms. We were going to need like 24 of them, I think, to make all the batteries we were going to need. Inventory full. Electronics, electronics. Oh, I don't have any copper ore on me? I guess that was gold I was carrying around. Yep, that's gold. And titanium. Oh, that's interesting. For now, we'll just stash this so we have enough room to carry them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See if that can get us going. Fabricator! Electronics! Battery! Battery! And we'll grab silicone rubber too if I've got any stashed. I can make some of these as I go. Electronics. Power cell. Battery. Battery. And power cell. And how about a little battery? Battery. Power cell. Battery. Battery. Power cell. Battery. Battery. Power cell. Battery. <laughs> Battery. Power cell. Okay. Does that put me there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that gives us a full second set of those. Pick up our tool before we forget where we stuck them. That does mean... What are you doing there? That's where there it goes. Does mean we're super low on copper again, though. I'm ladder. Hit it, locker name. Power. 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 Other stuff away. Alright, mushrooms can go here. Silicone, this miscellaneous craft, and these don't go here. That was just running out of room for stuff. There. 
Next on the list of things that we now can make that we wanted to make. Not food equipment wise. Got this done. We have one of these already. I mean, rather like a backup of those. I could upgrade the backup to also being an ultra high capacity tank, but I don't see myself being in a situation where I really need to. Where I need two of those to carry around me at the same time. Where like I wouldn't be able to take the sea moth or something. No, Jacob, I don't have nickel yet. I don't have kyanite yet. I don't have polyaniline yet. I'm assuming I just haven't cut the right plant to be able to make it, because it hasn't even popped up in my list of things that I can make yet up here. Oh wait, no, there it is. Wait, what? I've been able to make polyaniline all this time. Oh, ha, ha, ha. wonder how long that's been the case. But I just thought I couldn't make it. <laughs> okay. Well, we can make that, so, uh, so I get, we've got more things on the list now to try to make <laughs> when we come across them then. Uh, Tool-wise, uh, nothing here that I care about making right now. There. Eventually I need to start making this. I don't know if this is where I want to build it, though. I'll wait until I'm further along in that. Yeah, nice surprise that apparently I've been ready to make that. Uh, so let's see, I finished the maxing you out. Um, yeah, we can't do that because that's kyanite. Can't do that because it's nickel. I could swap my ultra glide fins out for swim charge fins. And I know how to make polyaniline, so I could actually make them. Which might be nice. I don't know, it's not that hard to charge stuff though. Might like the, the movement more. Okay, prawn soup to module one. Yep, that's limited by nickel. Oh, there we go. The perimeter defense system for the sea moth. I think I want that more than I want the the sonar on there. We can make that. Don't have that yet. Don't have kyanite yet. Uh, don't have nickel. Got those done, we got those done, and then the Cyclops. Got that already installed. Oh, engine efficiency module, there we go. So that we need to make. We just learned how to make this that we need to make. Hmm. This one we can't make because we don't have the Kyanite yet. That we can't make. But yeah, we got some, some Cyclops upgrades here that we can make then. And we've got one more upgrade for our Seamoth that we definitely wanted to make. Since now we know how to make that stuff. Um, let's do the Seamoth first. Let's see, there was no like new exterior modules or anything like that that we were crazy to add. Oh yeah, we need to build a... No, we're going to do this first. We're going to build a small bed on the Cyclops because we need that. So titanium and fiber mesh. Do I have any fiber mesh stashed? I do. Titanium. Okay. Well, since we're gonna do that on there, let's stash what else I need for building upgrades. Since I need to build them on the Cyclops when I go do it. Pretty sure we already have this installed. Computer chip, benzene, polyaniline. Benzene? Computer chip, we're gonna need some coral. We're gonna need some gold for the polyaniline, and we're gonna need some for the computer chip. Need some copper for the wiring for the computer chip. And we need... Oh, we need for a uh, computer support. 
I think so. Wire. Computer chip. Advanced materials. Oh, right. I didn't get any hydrochloric acid, which I have. I think I actually already have some stashed somewhere here. I made a bunch of it. Did I put it in here with the benzene? Selenius crafting? Yeah, here we go. Advanced. Aniline. Okay. So that will be... Yep, that's enough for that. We... Well, that does seem like that would be handy in an emergency. Then this. Oh, another repair tool and a copper wire. That's super important. So we need copper for copper wire and the repair tool wires titanium, silicone, and cave sulfur. Titanium. Uh, I'm fine. I got time. Cave sulfur, silicone. Applicator. Personal tools. Air tool. Cyclops, cyclops, cyclops. So, oh, right, and uh, copper wire. Neat, hey, Jacob. Can't make this yet as much as I would like it. Can't make this yet. Then this would be good if we could make it. Advanced wiring kit, power cell polyaniline. I don't know if I have enough copper left to do that. Sir Mouse Man, I do. I do need to craft it. I cannot find it in the world, spawned. Because the one that you probably are thinking that I can go pick up, or have already picked up, was lost to a Leviathan attack. And maybe it's out there somewhere, but it's not anywhere that I have a scanning room in reach to pick it up. And it was really early on in game where I died. So... <laughs> the same thing for the Seamoth. The longest time I didn't have the Seamoth depth upgrade because the one that I got from the Aurora was also with me along with that Cyclops upgrade when I got attacked by not one but two Leviathans at the same time fairly early on in the game and lost all that stuff somewhere out there with me having no easy way to mark where it happened at. Other than it's somewhere vaguely near the Aurora ish and <laughs> that's all would have fallen deep down. Food time. Munch, 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 munch. Plant, 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 plant. Munch. Open logger. Consume, consume, plant. Yep, I do appreciate you looking out for me, Sir, Sir Mouse Man. You're not the first person to make that assumption when I've talked about not having that that installed on there, because everybody knows that you find that one on the Aurora relatively early on. But no, that's someday maybe maybe I'll find it in this game wherever it ended up. Because as far as I know, that stuff doesn't get permanently destroyed. It's just going to be somewhere down at the bottom of the ocean, unless it was in my my sea moths storage space itself when that happened, and then I'm not sure if those items get recovered. Those might actually just get destroyed. Um, okay. Do I... Do I have what I needed for that, then? So we've got what we need for this, we've got what we need for this. We wanted to make this... 
and we've got one copper ore left, so we will not be doing that today. Not until we get a chance to do another big run for more copper. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. All right, we need a bed. A single bed. Oh, and this will be a... Oh, this would be a nice place to put it, but I guess it doesn't fit there. That's not a comfortable place to sleep. Probably not going to be room for it anywhere down here. We don't want to put it here. All right. Well, I guess there's only have one good place here to install it right now. So, oh, I could put it right here. On <laughs> I could put it right here. I could pilot pilot the ship from the comfort of my bed. Where was that? It just popped up green for a second there, didn't it? Yeah, right there. Let's just put it right here. <laughs> How's that work? I can still move around that easily, right? No, that's... I think I'd rather have it back there. This is... I'm just gonna get it... Just gonna run into the way. I don't get here. I also don't necessarily need this other thing of plants here. Because I'm pretty much self-sufficient just off the one. I don't want to take it down. It's nice to have a little color in here. Did you stop banging into my boat? Whoever that is out there. Just chill out. Nope, wrong side. Cyclops upgrades. All right. Engine efficiency and docking bay repair module. Wow. Okay. Got those installed, and now we've got these installed. Legends of Vinci now 300% as if that is physically possible. Oh, am I parked on top of some brain coral down there? That could be. Yeah, especially if it comes in those rhythmic bursts of three, that would totally make sense. Well, I do need more coral or more copper now because I'm completely exhausted of it. Have have any brain coral down here? Oh, you know what it is? I bet it's that tiger plant. Wait, what? Oh, the reinforced dive suit! It doesn't hurt anymore! Oh, and you also can't hurt it. Oh, there it goes. There. That's probably what was making all the noise. That's awesome. One more nice little benefit I have in that suit. Although it does seem like I swim a little bit slower with it on. Well, that's that big a deal. Let's do something about this copper situation. We need... Fill up that locker, and... We got room for at least an equal sized load of titanium.
let us scan. We do have some actual copper ore on the map. What was the deal with that, that copper ore before? Oh yeah, that makes sense. I would expect that thing hits pretty hard. Although I don't have the regular punching arms installed on it right now. I've got a drill arm on one side and a grappling hook on the other. Which one was Hopper? Sandstone? Limestone? Limestone. You up. I guess we'll take the steam off out. systems online. This thing's always getting banged up. Uh, yeah, Sir Mouseman, uh, but the, the last time I did a scan for that, the only ping that I got was just an unreachable thing inside, like, a pillar of stone. I didn't get any... I didn't get any pings from that, like, underwater cave that's near me. That's what I was, I was, I was referring to, like, if anybody remember from the previous stream that happening with that. I have definitely encountered those like really large nodes elsewhere that you would use the prawn suit on, but I haven't encountered them near my base. Do wish I could mine from inside that thing though. That would be a nice upgrade. A little mining module on this. <laughs> I don't really care about the titanium. We're not going to need that much of it anytime soon. I mean, I guess when we go to build that next base, we'll go through a lot of it, but I don't know if we're going to go through, what, like four, <laughs> four full-size lockers worth of it? But I'd rather just have it. If I've already collected it, and I know that I'll eventually use it, I might as well just keep it on hand where I can easily grab it. Even if it's just going to cost me just a little bit to be able to retain it. I've been thinking, uh, where's my marker? Right there. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it down pretty deep near there. I'm not entirely sure that's where I wanna put it, but that's where I'm thinking, because when I was down there, I found an entrance to uh, like this whole other like deep biome er area that had some pretty crazy and scary looking fish down there. And it was in an area that sort of matches the description of the dad log entry I have about the location that was doing the research on the cure for the disease that I'm infected with. So that's where I'm thinking about putting it next. I'm not 100% decided yet because I don't have... I don't have a great power option down there that's going to be completely no maintenance. I'll probably do the reactor and find out just how long the rods on that last. And I'll probably also have a bioreactor down there as backup. Since that works relatively well, it's just some extra work having to constantly go refill it all the time. Oh, to you, limestone chunk. Oh, there you are. Captain's, <laughs> Captain Kirk's voice saying. I mean, someone's gone there before. I don't know if it's a man, but somebody's gone there before. 
At least according to that data log entry. But it might be related to that creepy alien looking thing that was like either psychically talking to me or maybe that was just the bacteria itself inside me talking to me. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what that was. But whoever they are, I mean, like they've they've definitely been there. Limestone. Okay, we probably have enough to do a full storage offload here, don't we? Close. Pretty close. Rocks! Rocks! Ow. <laughs> I didn't realize I was quite in quite that shallow water. I was just, I was just sure it was <laughs> by that depth I could go. <laughs> I didn't even look. I just saw the depth. It's like, yep, I'm good. Uh, it feels good knowing that now I've got that. I have the infrastructure to easily... Oh, hi! Hi! I don't have the... Don't have that gun equipped right now that would have helped me, so... Sorry, dude. I guess maybe next time we'll keep that at the ready. <laughs> Instead of the repair thing. But yeah, having the infrastructure that now I can do a recharge a full set of power cells from the Cyclops all at once. And relatively fast, it seems like. I probably have to keep the bioreactor full to, to power them all. <laughs> yeah, that's that's tricky when you're playing uh, when you're playing the same time you're watching the same game, you hear those prompts and you don't know which which end is happening at. And I actually have on that sound alerts thing, I have... I, I, some of the, the options in there are noises from the other games that I play that represent stuff so people can just kind of troll me a little bit. But I don't have any Subnautica sounds on there. So like, so when I'm playing it, I also have to be alert that sometimes I hear it and it's not my game either. Sometimes it's somebody from Jet doing it and that'll see the notification a little bit pop later pop up about it being from uh, sound alerts or whatever. But it was mostly just uh, Phasmophobia that I had those... Those set up for. That's a nice, relatively dense uh, collection of these here. Nowhere near my... Sea moth now. But we're filling up on rocks. Well, thankfully, Jacob, it has its own marker. Whatever you've whatever you named it, or if you haven't named it, just Cyclops, it should have its own marker on your HUD. If you don't see that marker, it means you're really close to where your sub is at. That's a good sound. Like a ghostly death scream sound. That's nice. It's quartz. We'll get some air. Lungs a bit. Yeah, so what I might do when I go to build the next base is 
go to where the entrance of that cave is at and scout around in the area near them to see if there's any... Come on, dude, really? What? Sammy all, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Particle Palace. It's great to have you here. Really appreciate that. He's steering for another good, uh, about another 30 minutes or so. Trying to replenish our copper stores because we went through all the copper we had. Fixing our power cell infrastructure problem. And once we've got that uh, recovered, I probably can start looking at uh, where I want to build that next base somewhere near the entrance to that underground cave area. Yeah, I don't know, the Bone Shark... The Bone Sharks themselves are, like, they're not as scary to deal with, but they definitely have a... At least to me, like, their noise is on its own a, a more disturbing noise. But because you know what the Reapers do <laughs> when you hear them, it's, I don't know, it's like it's... The psychological effect is greater than just the sound on its own. Few more rocks. Okay, we are full. I have been near what I think somebody in chat said was called a uh, cave squid, maybe? Uh, I didn't get close enough to scan it, so I haven't confirmed that's the case. But that's what somebody colloquially in chat called it. Called it. it was like a big, big green looking thing. And it looked more like a giant, like, cuttlefish than, than a squid. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, jeez, Jacob. Not some, not good luck there, Squidwise, sounds like. <laughs> Sir Squidman? Hello, home. And we are here. And the Seamoth is only kind of screwed up. Oh, right. Well, that I can just put right in this locker right here. That was just trying to replenish the copper. And we got some more titanium. One salt to put away. I don't even know why I picked that up. We don't even need more salt, I don't think. We'll put it away if there's room for it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Jacob, I have terrible news for you. I'm, well, I'm happy to help, but I am not a medical doctor. <laughs> I, I do mean I do work in the medical field in general. But... Unless, unless your injury is associated with... Uh, you're dealing with high radiation levels or something like that. Probably not the right doc to help you out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Samuel. That's the worst. This is not... 2020 is not the year for internet to be crappy. Oh, no! Oh, no! Can you get out? Can you get out where you're at without grappling arms? Or were you down in a grappling arm dependent area? Oh, no! That is bad. That is real bad. Bridge. Got a little bit more in here. Copper, 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 copper. Titanium. Alright, we will go 
Guess we can turn that off. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I have Reaper Leviathan available on my scannable targets. Jeez. What a great place to be. Let's leave this scanning for copper ore while we're out. Okay, well yeah, at least there's that. At least it's... It accomplished its mission and then it left you alone after that? Just trying to send a send a message to the other Dons or something? Just breaking your arms? Oops, you're not ready to do stuff. Well, lantern fruit. In my face. And we probably need a little bit more for the bioreactor too at this point, don't we? We have been running that scan room the whole time. Oh, yeah! Oh, we completely gotta refill that. Here we go. Uh-oh, Jacob, that doesn't sound good. I believe you're having a bad day out there. Can't do those yet. I already did those. We already went through these. Don't care about those. Okay. So there was... That upgrade looked interesting. I guess we did pick up copper now, so we could probably actually make that shield generator before we go out. Yeah, let's make that. Like the shield generator, and then if we have any more time on the stream after that, we can go start scouting out a good place to put that put that base at. So, MS Paint, help me paint. I need you to hold a screenshot where I can see it. Oh yeah, there's that ping for that copper ore. Just like, oh, and one over here. Well, one of those might be one that I just... where I broke the rock and didn't pick it up afterwards. <laughs> okay, we need to make... Power cell. Which means we need to make two batteries. Which will be two copper ores. We need to make... Polyaniline. Which will be a gold and a hydrochloric acid. We don't have that here. And then the advanced wiring kit. It's gonna need regular wiring kit, gold, copper ore for the wire, cable coral for the CPU. Have any stashed here still? Must have put the rest of it in here. In here. I thought I brought back more table coral than that. Maybe I put it someplace, uh... Well, I can't predict it, but it's not that far to go out here to grab some. It's a shame I can't plant these in the beds, though. <laughs> Any chance it's on the table? I guess they do call it table coral. <laughs> nope. Lots of signs, no table coral. Whoever named that did us a disservice. Okay. We need some polyaniline. We need to make... Oh! Acid bath mushrooms. Acid mushrooms. Means we need... One, two, three, four of these. We need to cut one up. Get some replanted. There we go. Now we can go in here. Electronics. 
battery, battery for a power cell. Silicone rubber. I think we still had, yep, just one more of those left. Conics power cell. And then we already made the polyaniline, and now we need to do the advanced wiring kit. We need the regular wiring kit. Copper wire to make the CPU. And advanced wiring kit. Alright. Do I have any leftovers with me? Yes, two table corals left over. These are small little, uh... Yeah, they're little coffee table corals. <laughs> All right, for that deep area, also let's take the sea moth as our mobile vehicle. There is lots of things to use the prawn on, but I'd rather the maneuverability of this all the creepy creepers that are down there. Upgrades. Shield generator. Alright. Shield generator. 1500, 1500 health. 1184 of 1200 energy. That's interesting that I've burned, that means I've burned up some energy while it's just been sitting here. And all it's been doing is just powering the lights. I guess even the lights do actually take some power draw because we didn't drive this anywhere. After we installed those, uh, power cells in here. Engine powering up. On. Do a little save here. Was it? Oh, it's not there. Hit this one. There we go. Entrance to real deep caves. Do not normally use shortcuts in typing like that, but it was the only way to fit it fit something like that into the, <laughs> the length of the beacon. Oh, it pains me saying that name for a beacon, but it is what it is. We'll get in that area and see if we can scout out. It'd be great if we could find some thermal vents in that area, because that would give us a, a nice source of power deep down. We could just build some of those thermal collectors on it. Ah, oh, no, Jacob! Ah... Uh. Forgot your things! Alright, I'm gonna grab a drink here. That got me go. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Uh, I just did that thing where the soda you grabbed out of the fridge wasn't the one that you thought you grabbed. So even though it's one that you do like, and you do like the taste of, it tastes entirely wrong when you take a sip of it because you're not expecting it to taste like that. Like, oh god, what happened to my root beer? Why is it all citrusy? There's no bitterness at all in here. My, oh, right, because it's not a root beer. <laughs> Oh, Samuel, I'm sorry to hear that. I wish you better internets in the future. You know, it's been a while. Have we... Have we been to this life pod? Wow! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> we seem to have a visitor. 
<laughs> we have an extra dimensional crate find inside of our sub. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, it doesn't respect our boundaries at all. Look at it all. We've got some sort of extra dimensional attack going on or something. Uh, Sir Mouse Money, is that option available? Because for affiliates, it's kind of like luck of the draw, whether Twitch decides to allow you to do... to have the multiple, um, settings. <gasps> zesty, 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 zesty! Thank you for the follow. Yeah, that gear is where it would be, but I'm not 100% sure that my stream has that right now, because it's... Affiliates don't get that guaranteed. It only happens sometimes. Hey! Well, hey, that's great to hear! Okay. I figured we probably had already been in here, because we had... This is probably one of the ones we got a record for, but... Since we happened to stumble across it, I thought we would check. Well, hey, that's pretty cool that I've got that available right now, because that's not a... That's not an every affiliate thing, every all the time kind of thing. So yeah, that'll that that should definitely help your uh, help your situation there. Uh, yeah, I do not have the since they since Twitch added their channel points system, I have not been using the stream elements point system since there's already a a great beta one in in uh, in Twitch for that. Though I am in, in, surprised to learn that the uh, the top points command is still <laughs> enabled <laughs> on there. <laughs> I would be surprised. I mean, only if it's something that came comes with stream elements that I didn't notice in time to turn off. I don't think I have any uh, any gambling systems on there. I mean, I do have. They're currently disabled. I do have commands for like doing a queue or things like that if we're gonna do like community games, but we actually haven't needed to use that for most of our community nights because folks are pretty good about just rotating out and giving people a chance. Be a ping here. All right. Uh, Zesty, what is the benefit of having a uh, roulette setting on your bot? <laughs> it's a flex if you've got the most. <laughs> It's Quebec, it's Quebec that, uh, <laughs> they're, they're that tight about gambling. <laughs> oh, bummer. Um, Sir Mouse Man, I just found this because I, let's see, how did that start? I was looking for, I was trying to find the mushroom forest area. Uh, cause I had found it previously, but I hadn't really spent a lot of time looking around, so I was driving around and found that, and then I found, right by the mushroom forest, found that area that I found, I found this steep ravine leading down to, like, a bunch of blood vine, and then as I went down, I found, uh, that this went super deep, so, I mean, found it by basically stumbling across it. There was, after I found it, I did note that it, um, Powering down. here, let me back out. Uh, in the data bank, in the codes and clues, alien facility locations. So I previously did do a search trying to find this disease research facility that it notes is at 800 meters depth. That's in a cave system with extensive fossil record southwest of the enforcement platform. And when I got to the entrance of that cave, I even actually got some sort of like voice log popping up about it having extensive fossilized remains. So, having found it, I imagine that this is the cave system that my that my blog is noting that that's where I'm going to find potentially this alien facility. So, uh... I mean, 
I, I mean, I found it because I've just been checking all the well, all the stuff that's popped up in here. At some point, I've taken a look through it, so that's how I found it on there and realized, oh, that's uh, that's where we might be able to find that. So, but my first time I was searching for it, I didn't make any <laughs> any progress at all trying to find it. I just came across some volcanoes and stuff, and then because I had saved. Decided to try diving really deep, went off the cliff edge, and then that was my first experience with Ghost Reapers. <laughs> was the first outing trying to find that. Um, so I guess we can, we could dive this down further. Powering up. There's some room here. see that ampule over there, but I don't know how aggressive they are with the Cyclops. <laughs> I have actually kind of done that sometimes. More just like to try to convince the little fish to like get out of the way. That's probably close enough. We can take the seam off the rest of the way. Engine powering down. Exit. All right. Two, three, cut. Munch, munch, munch. Plant, 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 plant. I guess I need one more set. Plant. Punch. Oh, Alex. Um, I hadn't. Th I hadn't thought about doing something special for the 200 follower, but I guess <laughs> we're at 199. So maybe it's a little bit late to try to think of it now. But uh, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna want to bring a beacon with me. Yeah, I hadn't hadn't thought about doing something special for that because I honestly kind of slipped in my radar that we were already that close. It's been rocketing up uh, this last few streams. Go, but yeah, I should, I should try to figure out something. <laughs> oh yeah, figure out something for that. All systems online. Hey. Yeah. So last time I was here, I didn't have the depth upgrade for my Seamoth. So my only way to get down here at the time really was to like try to take the prawn suit or take the cyclops down. Now we can come down here with something that's way more agile. Give me a ping. Got Warper. Let's try to avoid them. Okay, things look like ampules. Things that. Oh, what is that? Like a baby ghost reaper? God, this is not. <laughs> I guess. I don't know if I want to build my base right here then. That could be bad. Maybe if we hug down here, we can avoid getting noticed by them. Ooh, what are these? Am I in a place where I can safely get out? Let's see. Oops, that's not the right tool. Didn't have brought the habitat tool with me, but whatever, it's here. Yeah, you are. Oh, <gasps> there's Nickel! Oh, and I brought not the prawn with me. <sighs> well, at least now I know where I can find nickel. Maybe if I'm lucky, there'll be small deposits of it too. 
of these. Magnetite. Well, I do need more magnetite. Lithium. Oh, you guys like that Seamoth, huh? Having some fun? Oh, crystal and sulfur? Please, please leave me alone. Hey, we found crystal and sulfur too. Regular old sandstone. Hmm. Lost River. All right. And uh, Sir Mouseman, does that ever actually show up in game somewhere specifying it's called that? Yes, Zesty. This is my first time playing, which is why I have that. It's got it on the tags there for being a first playthrough, no spoilers, just, you know, etc., etc. Titanium. But anyway, yeah, so does it ever show up in game that they say that this is called the Lost River or is that a like a player community designed or decided uh, name? Because I've seen that come up before where people like tell me the name of some zone where they were saying they need to go places and then I usually haven't uh, just let me find it, but okay. It's like there's another biome that like I now know is called the uh, Grassy Plateaus. And like everybody calls it grassy plateaus with like capital G, capital P. Like, how do you know that that's what it is? <laughs> like, I haven't found any any of the logs yet so far that have actually described it being that. Well, I can't. That's just more nickel, right? Magnetite on the ground. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, find a safe place to park and read those log entries for the stuff that we just scanned. Let's see if there's any useful information there. Seems safe enough over here. Oh, the Degasi name. They named this the Lost River, or were you talking about the Grassy Plateau's name? Crystal and sulfur. Okay, nothing crazy. Amoeboids. Simple non sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. Feeds not until it reaches maturity, and then it divides to create technique two. Okay, but it, it's under scavengers or parasites, so I'm assuming I can't cut one and plant one. But I'm gonna try anyways. Doesn't sound like they're dangerous. Oh! Oh, you were still on my ship the whole time? That's not cool. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta pay for a ticket. Okay, yeah, nothing, nothing doing there. Yeah, I see you over there. I hope you don't see me over here. You see me over here, don't you? Oh, that's good. El Cubinator, what is F1? Options, keyboard, F1. Nope. Oh, I'm not using the debug menu. Okay, I guess this is this is your zone. Okay, all right. That's where people are getting the name of it. From the in-game files on the debug menu. Okay. All right.
right. Well, the good news is we learned that that, uh, that torpedo will drive that thing off from us. Makes sense, because when I've encountered those... When the big ones have captured my Seamoth in the past, they've never one hit me, except when I've had two of them <laughs> hitting me at the same time, and then it's first one hit me, let's go, and the second one immediately grabs me and then finishes me off. How are we doing on time? I'm a little bit over. But I would like to see if there's a way that we can sneak around this thing here just real shortly. And if there's not, we'll just save it for next stream and try to actually mount an alternative expedition through here. There, they, there it is. We're gonna sneak around this side. Without making you too angry. Anything? No, nope, just regular sandstone. Okay. How is it? Oh, and these things. Let's see. Are you aggressive? I'd like to scan you, but I don't know if you're going to try to eat me or not. Oh, you don't seem to be bothering me in the sea moth. Let's see. Ghost Ray. Yep, you don't seem to be... You seem to be mean. Alright, carry on. Have a nice day, Sea Ray. This is... Oh, this is the side we came in. Wait, what? Did I get... Did I get turned around in there? I got turned around in there. Alright, well... We're actually over on time. So I'm gonna go park this... Back inside the, uh... The Nautilus. What is that? Oh, the Gaming Italian. Thank you so much for that follow. Welcome to the Particle Pals. Nice to have you here. Interesting timing, because I'm just about to head back here and save and uh, do a longer exploration in there next time, because I actually needed to stop streaming about 10 minutes ago. But having just found my way down there, I just had to at least poke around there a bit now that I had a sea moth to do it. Come in. Oh, and the gaming Italian, you are your follower number 200. Nice round number. <laughs> that I hit too fast and forgot to plan something special for it. Alex suggested maybe we should do that on 250. Uh, and yeah, I see that. Yep, Lee's on, quality is on, junk is on. But yeah, I think we're gonna, um, let's go ahead and save. Yeah, I think I'm gonna raid you on over to uh, Lee Angels' stream because she's a, a friend of the, of the stream and she is currently doing Subnautica. So, so I'd like to thank all of you for being here. It's great, this community is why I do it. You know, if it wasn't for you, I would just be sitting in the dark, playing video games by myself. Talking to myself slightly less. <laughs> well, it's great having you here. Gaming Italian, I mean, I'm sorry that you just got here in the follow just as we were finishing up, but 
Uh, we do this on a pretty regular basis, and uh, and I'm sure you're gonna enjoy uh, Los Angeles. Uh, a lot of, lot of similarities between our communities. So, yeah, have a great night. Adios, all.